hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to display a 3d cube in native android application using the filament library now firstly i want to tell you that so here is the output and uh, i am not really good at this i have copy pasted all this code from the documentation uh, but just wanted to guide you on few of the things if you are struggling on how to get started with filament library so here is our 3d cube first what i have done is that i have included the filament android dependency so you can use something like this and i am using the version catalog so if you go to version catalog uh, here you can see i am using this filament android dependency and here we are actually adding the entire uh, library uh, uh, version or name uh, so the and then you just have to click on sync now and it will uh, download the dependency for you uh, then inside of my activity underscore main i have taken one surface view to occupy the entire width and height i have given it some id so i am just constraining to the entire width and height of the screen then inside main activity i have added uh, these all imports so if you want you can just copy paste all these imports uh, here we are firstly uh, loading the fi filament uh, library because this is a C++ library we have to write this bit of code now first I'll tell you where I have copy pasted this code from so if you go to this particular uh, filament android uh, filament google uh, github repo go to android go to samples sample lit cube and then you can go to the main activity dot kt file uh, I have removed some code uh, related to material because uh that was causing a lot of issue i don't have much knowledge about materials that's why i have removed the code and as you saw in the output it was just a simple white cube so anyways let's come back so here uh, we are creating our surface view now this is our ui helper display helper choreographer which i have just copy pasted it here we are creating our engine renderer view camera this is the most difficult part like creating the vertex buffer and index buffer because filament uh, uh as far as i know like does not pr provide a primitive out of the box we have to write some vertex buffer and index buffer code which is the most difficult part then here is our renderable light swap chain frame callback is for that animation of rotating and here is our animator uh, here we are initializing our surface new view now if you look at the code they don't have an xml layout file so that's why they are initializing surface view and then setting the content view but for me i'm just in using surface views find view by id initializing our choreographer display helper and then i'm calling a bunch of methods now here i have removed some of the code uh, of uh, calling the material methods as well so here you can see first we are using the setup surface view then we are setting up our filament which requires an engine then we are setting up our view so i think this is a skybox so that we have proper lighting and all that stuff uh, then here we are setting up our scene again i don't know really much about it so if, if you see over here we are uh, the geometry is triangle so with the help of this triangle geometry we are creating a cube with the help of vertex buffer and index buffer so let's see what all different primitive types are so here not much only triangles and points but yeah and so here we are creating our scene here we are creating our light uh, adding that to our scene uh, then setting our our camera how we exactly want to look the camera here we are start calling start animation and this is the method for creating mesh so again i have just copy pasted it from the docs so this is the difficult part like knowing all these things which uh, is not humanly possible <laughs> according to me but yeah i'll check how exactly it is done but currently i'm not able to understand all this stuff that has been written if you know anything about it do let me know in the comments so next is here we are creating some vertex buffer and setting that vertex buffer as well here we are creating our index data and index buffer as well then this is for starting our animation or rotating our cube and inside on resume we just call post frame callback and in on pause we just remove that callback and on destroy also we remove the callback as well as it detach and destroy everything uh, so yeah and here yeah, i have created this frame callback uh, uh, inner class 
okay and here again uh, not really sure what is happening but something related to render rendering of our 3d cube and this is our surface callback again not really sure what happening is what's really happening over here so yeah that's how you can uh, render a 3d cube in native android application uh, thank you for watching bye